Good evening, everyone. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Giovanni. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Mario. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I am fine. <laughs> I take my dinner. <laughs> you you are having dinner. Yes, I come in late at home. You came late. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, and how was traffic? How was uh, traffic? ¿Cómo estuvo el tráfico? ¿Estás ok? Uh, se me fue el audio. <laughs> no le escuché. Ok, how was traffic? Ah, it's very tough. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo estuvo el tráfico? Sí, estuvo bien pesado. Pesado, ¿ah? Huh? Mm -hmm. My goodness. All right. Okay, and uh, how are you today, Wilfredo? Hey, good evening, Mr. Machuca. I'm doing great. Excellent. What about you? I'm doing great too. I'm talking to uh, Jorge. Jorge said that he's having dinner. So, uh, yes. Remember, I have dinner uh, at break. At break time, yes, yes. Break time. Yes, in 10 minutes, teacher. In it's 10 incredible, minutes. but. Yeah, there true. we go. Okay, yes. That's that's uh, something uh, special that you do. Some, yes, something special, but thank you for the, the break. It, it uh, is important for, uh, at least for me, it's important because I Absolutely. take time to, to to have the dinner. Absolutely, yes. It's, uh, it's always good to have a little break, uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, so you can go to the restrooms, you can eat, uh, you can drink up cup of coffee whatever you want to do yeah. and relax yes, right. as well yes if you have a, a hammock yeah if you have a hammock you can relax in the hammock yes that's right yeah there you go and uh tell me what did you do at work uh, Wilfredo well uh it was a normal day I uh I don't have any events special events oh, okay. everything was uh, normal Okay, no, all right, very good. So there was uh, nothing uh, special today. All right, and uh, what about uh, for the weekend? Do you have any plan for the weekend? Uh, I want to go shopping uh, on Saturday and- uh, Christmas, on... Christmas shopping? No, not yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, there's uh, no, uh, you, um, normal shopping. And on Sunday, I sh I must uh, to help my sister to prepare some things for her wedding. Oh, wedding! Oh, she's getting married. Yes, oh in two weeks. In two in weeks. Two oh my goodness! My, uh, but the uh, but uh, she is my little sister. <laughs> my old sister is in one week. So your little sister, she's gonna be married in in two in weeks. Two weeks. And the and older aunt. sister in one week. Yes, in one week. Oh. Yes. Oh my! It's a, it's a, it's a family tradition that uh, the oldest one have to be married first, and then the youngest one. No, it's just uh. It just happened. It just ha yes, it just happened. That's oh, right. Okay. 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 I see. All right. Well, well. Congratulations. You're gonna be uh, you, uncle twice. <laughs> I hope that. Very soon, yes, very soon. Excellent. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see. Hello, oh, my goodness, look at you. Be you. Hi, Esmeralda, how are you today? Hi, teacher, Marta. Oh my goodness. Ahorita estoy... Estoy modo zombie aquí. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, uh, Esmeralda is here. So if Esmeralda is here, that's it. Si me quedo dormida media clase, sorry, teacher. Debe ponerse algo aquí. Y está así. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, we are talking about uh, our future plans. And uh, I was asking uh, your co uh your classmate, uh, Wilfredo, that uh, if uh, there is any plan for this weekend, coming weekend, and he said that uh, he's going to shopping this weekend uh, for wedding uh, celebration. He, his uh, little sister and the uh, older sister is getting married in one in two weeks and the other one in one week. Que nos invite. Yeah, that's what he said. He said that uh, the invitation is right there, he says. <laughs> Pero dice que el regalo también no se lo va a olvidar. <laughs> yeah. Y no sabemos qué le, qué le gusta a la hermana. Yeah. Vamos a llevar un, un regalo de sobre. Yeah. Mucho más fácil, teacher. teacher. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Sí. But dice que, ¿Dónde va a ser, Wilfredo? Where is gonna, the party going to be held at? San Juan Opico en la Libertad, teacher. Oh, San Juan Opico en la Libertad. Ok. ¿En el Malecón? No. Mm, no, no, no. San Juan Opico is uh, near from... Mm, let me see. No, teacher. No. Uh, do, um, do you know Takachico, Takachico City? Takachico. San Juan Pico is a Taka, San Juan Pico is a town. Okay, it's a town. Okay, it's a town. Yes, and it is near or almost near from Santa Tecla, okay. but it's not in 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 La Libertad, in the Puerto de la Libertad. San Juan Pico is the town, and La Libertad the department. Okay, so it's part of the uh, the Libertad oh, Department. The, the, uh, yes, oh, okay. yes, that's right. Okay, okay, so okay, I understood. Very good, excellent. So everybody is invited. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so very good, excellent. Okay, so today, um, and you, Esmeralda, do you have any plans for this weekend? Mm. Sleep. Working, no, <laughs> no working. work. My goodness. Yes. Um, martes tenemos entrega de notas finales. Tengo oh, que eh, firmar cuadros de notas. Parents conference. Uh, no. No, no I, I don't like to see you like that. You know, you look like, oh my God, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> It's just like a... Ah, los planes de Wilfredo. Yo así que... <laughs> No, yeah, very good. No yes, yes. Yeah, we feel it's like, okay, I'm going to be and having fun and you guys are going to be working. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Look at teacher. I will go on Sunday to support uh, Hokoro. Hokoro. Oh, the, the soccer team. Match, the match teacher. The match, yes. Match, the match. between, between uh, El Barça and Hokoro. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, para todos, no. All right, very good. So um, today we are going to be learning about the going to. We have already seen the going to, but um, uh, today we are going to um, uh, make a, I will have a review on uh, going to. Yes, and going to is... Uh, Something that is uh, next to happen. We use the going to for actions that are next to happen. Yes, next to happen. Yeah, next to happen. So those are, uh, we use uh, going to. Going to. Uh, for actions that are next to happen. Yeah. Uh, por acciones que están próximas a suceder. Yeah, in este caso, eh, my sister is going to get married. If Wilfredo says, my sister, my sister is going to get married. Yeah, yeah. my sister is going to get married in, uh, in two weeks. Let's say two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks from now, from now, yeah? So my sister is going to get married two weeks from now. So esto lo que quiere decir es que 
en dos semanas de, de, de ahora, ella se va a casar. My sister is going to get married uh, in two weeks from now. So we use uh, going to, yeah, for actions next to, the, for actions that are next to happen. So if something is, is in the near future, it's going to happen, and you are sure that it's going to happen, you use going to. We, we, we can use the will. My sister will get married in two weeks. But uh, when we use will, uh, the chances are that may happen or may not happen. So, so going to is more certain to use. When you, we are, to, let's say, 95% sure that something is going to happen, then we use going to. And will is for something that we are not uh, um, too sure. For example, we can say, I think it will rain tomorrow yes i think it will rain tomorrow may rain or may not rain okay but if i said uh it's going to rain tomorrow if i see clouds on the sky yeah i see all dark yeah then i say it's going to rain yeah because i'm sure that it is going to rain all right so that is the uh, going to and the going to has a uh, Three, uh, three forms. We have the affirmative. We have the negative. And the interrogative. Okay, these are the three forms that the, we are going to be look into it. The negative form, the interrogative form, and the uh, affirmative uh, uh, form. So this could be the uh, the uh, affirmative one right we can say or or um wilfredo can say uh my sister my sister is going to get married in two weeks so how do we make uh, this uh, sentence a uh, negative sentence what we do it was we just put the uh, the word not, my sister is not, the word not, my sister is not going to get married in two weeks, yeah? So that would be the uh, negative form of the going to. And the interrogative, what we do is we put the verb is at the beginning, yeah? Is my sister, my sister, going to get married in two weeks yeah and we put the question mark is my sister going to get married in two weeks yeah so that would be the interrogative form yes so we have the affirmative negative and the interrogative form of going to now, let's see what is the... Yes, Wilfredo? Uh, just have a doubt, teacher. In the negative form, uh, the, the structure is not, is the one, the only way, the only form no, we can we, use, or we, we can, can contract it. Yeah, we can contract it. You, we can say isn't, yeah? We, uh, can, okay, use, okay. we can use, uh, my sister isn't uh, going to get married in two weeks from now, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Teacher. My sister isn't going to get married at all. At all. Yeah. Yeah. At all. Yeah. My sister isn't going to get married at all. She got mad. <laughs> Said no hope. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the uh, three uh, forms of the going to. Now, um, can you see? What is the structure of the uh, the going to sentences based on these examples? In the affirmative form, we have first we have the subject. Okay. Uh, after the subject, we have the verb. The verb. Okay, so plus we have the subject going to. Yeah, subject. we have the subject plus verb to be. Verb, verb, verb to, to be, be. Right? yes, plus going to, going to, going to, yes, 
plus complement. No, plus the verb. Ah, verb again, yes. Yes, plus the verb. Then plus complement. Complement. Yeah. So this is the structure of the uh, uh, going to affirmative. Yes. Now the negative is almost the same, but uh, we uh, put the subject, the verb to be plus the word not. Yeah. That's the word not. And then the rest is the same. So we have subject plus verb to be plus not plus going to plus verb plus complement. In uh, the uh, interrogative, it will be the uh, the verb to be first. Yes, it will be the verb to be first. Yes, it will be the verb to be the subject plus going to plus the verb. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the structure for the three forms of the going to sentences. Estamos bien? Estamos todo bien? Now, the uses of the verb to be, remember that uh, I, we use a uh, M for you, we use R. And for he, for she, and for it, we use uh, is, uh, verb is. And for we, for you, plural, and for they, we use are. Yeah. This is uh, uh, the forms of the verb to be that goes uh, with uh, uh, the pronoun. Yes, each pronoun with the uh, form of the verb to be. So this is what uh, is, uh, is the going to structure and the going to uses for and uh, the going to uh, verb to be. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, we can uh, make one sentence. Uh, let's say that um, eh, Esmeralda eh, va a, a tomar mira, un taxi, un Uber. ¿Cómo diríamos uh, a Esmeralda va a tomar un Uber? Mm, Esmeralda is going to get an Uber. Okay, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, Esmeralda is going to, to get an Uber, 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 yeah. Is and there another, uh, another way of say get instead of use get? Hmm? What other verb can we use instead of get? Esmeralda is going to get an Uber. Oh, it's gonna it's going to call an Uber. Yeah, it's going to call Uber. an Uber. Yes. Uh-huh. Take take is not the same. Uh, she's gonna case, take, yeah, take is like uh like a bus. Yeah, like a bus, take a bus, yes. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So she's going to uh get an Uber or she's going to call an Uber so they can pick her up. So the negative uh, of this uh, sentence will be Esmeralda. It's not, right? It's not going to take an Uber. An Uber. U Uber. Yeah, Esmeralda is not going to take an Uber. Yeah. Now, what would be the interrogative uh, form? Is Esmeralda. Is Esmeralda. Yeah. Going. Going, yes, going to, to take our take an Uber, an Uber, an Uber, okay, yes, an Uber, yes, okay, very good, yes, I think, I think we got it right. Uh, 
I think it's very straightforward. This one, it doesn't mean it doesn't need to, too much information on this one. I, I think you got it. It's not that easy, easy to understand, it's because you are too smart for this. Okay. Because a lot of people don't get it at the first time. Trust me, trust me. All right, let me see. Let's do some exercise and see if uh, if we get it. Um, nosotros vamos a estudiar inglés hoy. We are going to study English. We Edwin? are All right. going to study Study. Okay. No. Study. No. Stu study. No. no. Okay. <laughs> study. Huh? It's study. Oh, study. Okay. We are going to study today. We are going to study today. What are we studying? English. English, yes. We are going to study English to tonight. Yeah, tonight. Esta noche, right? Yeah. Okay, pero dice, dice, ¿cómo se llama? Um, ¿Quién? María de Jesús dice, no, DJ, no vamos a estudiar inglés hoy en la noche. Entonces, ¿cómo diría ella? ¿Eh? We aren't going to study English. Okay, tonight. we aren't, yes. We are going to, going to study English tonight. Tonight, yeah, tonight, tonight. Yeah. We're not going to study English tonight. Yeah. Eh, y la pregunta, ¿cómo lo haría, Senia? Sorry, vengo entrando. Sorry. Vengo Así no, así no es, sorry, vengo entrando. <risa> ok, ¿cómo iría? Eh, eh, Emerson, la pregunta. Oh, oh. Veamos si Menfredi nos puede decir la pregunta. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta, Menfredi? ¿Are you there, Menfredi? No sé si está ahí. Sí, yo creo que ahí está. Ya, yeah, teacher, I, 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 Ok. I'm here. Okay. okay, can you elaborate the question? We're going to study English tonight. Esa sería la, eh, la affirmative uh, sentence. We want to make this uh, affirmative sentence inter interrogative one. Are we going to study English tonight? Yes, are we? Uh, absolutely. Are we going, going to study English? English? English tonight? Yes. Tonight. Yes. Are we going to study English tonight? Uh, and Jorge, do you play soccer? No, teacher, because oh, okay, okay. My, yeah. my, my knee. Okay. So, okay. entonces vamos a decir que Jorge no va a jugar fútbol mañana. Todos nosotros vamos a ir, pero menos Jorge. Jorge no va a jugar fútbol mañana. Aguador soy por <ríe> mi rodilla. <ríe> ok, digamos que Jorge no va a jugar fútbol mañana. Hey, people. <ríe> yeah, hey, people. People, wake up. Wake up. Jorge. No, Jorge, tú no, porque tú no, tú eres el que no va a jugar mañana. Choose one, teacher. Choose one. Yeah, there, oh, okay, there we go. Let me see, let me see. Um, Esmeralda. Es que Esmeralda me estaba levantando la mano así. Yo, 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 teacher, me estoy durmiendo. Um, George, not going to play soccer tomorrow. Okay. Not tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, vamos a ver. 
¿Cuál es la, la, la estructura de la affirmative sentence? Uh, the verb to be. Esmeralda. Yeah. The least teacher, Jorge, is not. It's yes. not. Yes, Esmeralda, sí o yo. No. Is, is not. Is not. Yes, George is not going to play soccer tomorrow. Ahora, para practicar más, Esmeralda, pregúntele a Jorge si va a ir a jugar mañana. Y, um, uh, uh, um, George, no, is George going to play soccer tomorrow? Le está preguntando a Jorge, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, a Jorge. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jorge. Are you? Jorge va a ir a jugar soccer mañana. Sí, si pregúntele a él si va a ir a jugar. Ah. Ay, <ríe> mire, Senia quiere ganarle. Que me gane Senia. No, Senia dice, yo, 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 yo. Vamos, Senia. Vamos, 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 Esmeralda. Vamos, no, Esmeralda. You presión, presión, you Esmeralda. Do don't give up. Do don't give up. Don't give up. You can do it. Just, you can do it. Yes. yes. Just use the verb yeah. to be. Remember the verb to be. Yes. You are going to ask Jorge. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo fue, Wilfredo? Uh, you are going to ask Jorge. O sea, le vas a preguntar a Jorge. Use the verb to be. ¿Cómo le tengo que preguntar? Llamo la estructura. The structure. No ah, le diga porque si le dice entonces... Ay. Sí, sí. Tiene que hacer la pregunta como que me lo estás diciendo ahorita a mí. Pero como que estamos hablando. Eso es lo que te quieren dar a entender. Yes. O sea, sí. O right, sea, la estructura right. sí que es el, su, el subject más el verbo to be. Ah, no, este es el otro. No. El verbo to be más subject, eh, más con to, más ver, más complement. Machuca dijo. George. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. Oh, es el francés. Bonjour. Bonjour. George. George. Oh, George. Ok. So. Bonjour. Let, Sí, sí, tranquila, lo podemos hacer. We can uh, do it, we can do it. Yes, we're here. We are the champions, remember? No, you can do it, Miranda. We go, go, go. are the champions, yes. My friend, we are the champions, my friend. Yes. 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 Is George going, is Jorge going to play soccer sí, pero tomorrow. Como si yo le dijera la pregunta a él directamente, pregúntele él si va a ir a jugar mañana fútbol. Jorge, are you? No. Jorge, are you play soccer tomorrow? Okay. Yes. No, I know. I keep water. <laughs> George, are you okay, play soccer Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow. Ok, ahora revise la estructura, a ver si esa es la estructura correcta. Vea si tienen los ingredientes ahí. Um, el verbo to be va antes que Jorge. No, no. No porque le está diciendo la... la Ah, entonces pregunta sí, directa, sí. directa a él. Jorge. Diría que sí. Ok, Jorge. Entonces el verbo to be lo tenemos ahí, está aquí. ¿Qué más sigue después? La estructura que dice. Okay. Okay. Jorge, Jorge, déjala ah, que piense. Ah, going to. Going to. Déjala que piense, Jorge. Ajá. Ay, no te preocupes, oh, Jorge. Créame, yo sé lo que pasa en los profesores que a veces llegan demasiados en la noche, a veces. Sí, pero, Totalmente. Pero si, si, si la quieres y es tu amiga, tienes que dejarla que ella se desarrolle. No, me puede ayudar. No, ya está desarrollada. Pero... Si, le dices, si tú le estás diciendo, si tú le estás diciendo, entonces no le das la, el, el, la el, no le dejas que ella se desarrolle eh, en el inglés. Ok. Ah, que se desenvuelve, dice. Ah, ya le going to, teacher. Yes. George, are. Going to. Ok, going to. Muy bien. Going to. Yes. George, are. 
Este es el verb to be, ¿verdad? Este es el verb to be. Después del verb to be, ¿qué dice la estructura que va? Um, el going to. El subject, ¿verdad? El subject. ¿Y quién es el subject? ¿A quién estás hablando? Jorge. Entonces, George. ¿cuál, es, ¿cuál es el George? R. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le dice R? Are you? Very good. Are you? Yes. Ahí está el ah. subject. George, are you going to play soccer tomorrow? Yes. Teacher, eso estaba costoso. No, 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 no está, está fácil. Sí. Lo más fácil. La confundimos, la confundimos, sí. teacher, ese es el problema. La confundimos, sí, sí, eso sí, la confundimos, sí, y, y no hay que confundir, <risa> ok, no queremos eso, no queremos. Teacher, hágale una, una oración, pero con pupusa, yo creo que ahí sí la va a adivinar. Mm. Ah, Para no. el Carmen. <risa> no, teacher, hoy no le adivino nada, vengo de una jornada larguísima, larguísima, sí, sí, que no es, tiene es, idea. Es lo que pasa, está muy cansadita, pero, pero sí, la, la estructura está fácil, no se preocupe, es, está fácil. Gracias, compas. Solo, solo de, 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 de seguir esto, ¿ok? So, um, Jorge, are you going to play soccer? Y él va a contestar, yes, I am, no, I am not. I don't play soccer for a long, long time, yeah? Entonces, vamos a, a como, como Esmeralda está so cansadita, so cansadita, demasiado, so es demasiado cansadita. Eh, vamos a ver, y le vamos a decir que Senia le va a decir, man, yo voy a descansar este fin de semana. Yeah. Ok, para, para, que, para que vea el, 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 el sabor. Bueno, ok, dígale, dígale Senia. Eh. Yo voy a descansar este fin de semana, dígale. Tincher, eso no se vale, no sean así. <risa> no dejo que mis compañeros me ayudaran y ahora me está haciendo no, pues, bullying. Bullying, <risa> ¿qué es ese bullying? No, <risa> Senia es la que va a decir yo no. <risa> dígale, Senia, yo voy a descansar este fin de semana, dígale. I am going to... I am going to... Rest, 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 yes, rest, rest, yes, rest, yes, tomorrow, 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 Weekend, yes, Esmeralda, that's for you. Teacher, yes, rest and descansar. Descansar, sí, uh -huh. rest. Uh, eh, okay. Ya, ya cuando uno descansa para siempre, le dicen rest in peace. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, rest in peace. Eso cuando descansa uno... en paz. Sí, ya cuando descansa para siempre. Yeah. Entonces, pero si estamos en vida, entonces decimos resting uh, uh, peacefully. Yeah, peacefully. Resting peacefully, yeah. ¿Por qué peacefully, teacher? ¿Por qué cambia? Uh, peacefully es uh, eh, en paz. Yeah. Des, eh, descansar eh, en paz o en paseadamente, algo así. Yeah. Pero eso quiere decir resting peacefully. Yeah. En paz. Ah, ok, teacher. Uh -huh. yeah, ok. I'm... En mi caso podría aplicar la negativa. I'm not going to rest this weekend. Yeah, yeah, ya ve, ya, 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 ve, ya, ya, very good, ya vio. Le ya sacamos, la agarró Esmeralda, teacher. Sacamos el, el potencial de ella, se da cuenta, Jorge Alberto, se da cuenta. Sacamos el potencial de ella y ella, oh no, teacher, I'm not going to rest this weekend. Yeah, very good, excelente. Good job, good job. A ver, se da cuenta. Very good. Así es, Esmeralda. Go, go for it. Go. Yes. Entonces, uh, eh, ¿alguna otra oración que quieran, que piensen ustedes que se puede hacer? Any other uh, 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 suggestion? ¿Alguna oración que tengan, que la, la quieran que los compañeros la hagan? ¿No? Estamos bien allí. Ok, yo creo que es, es suficiente, ¿verdad? 
Excelente. Si alguien no, no, eh, no le quedó claro esto, eh, podemos ayudarle. Si no, vamos a, a tomar la asistencia para, para seguir la, la clase. ¿Ok? Eh, deje ver. Just give me a second. One second, please. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, you can go just give me a second. One moment, please. Okay, looks like uh, it's taking its time. One moment. Okay. And you see the uh, no yet, not One yet. Teacher. No, it is it is loading. Okay, it's loading. Huh? Okay, just a second. Take it too long, huh? Oh, I see, I see, I see Mem Freddy. Okay, I have uh, Carlos uh, Antonio Rosales. No, okay, Cesar Mem Freddy. I'm here. Thank you, Dennis Vladimir. Present here. Thank you. Edgar uh, Edemir Pineda. Not there. Okay, just a second. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. <coughs> And I have uh, Emerson Eli. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Armando. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Imer Alberto Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesus Gomez. Okay. Jonathan Salvador Zavala. Jorge Alberto Rellana. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Maria Jesus Martinez. Present. Thank you. Mario Osvaldo Martinez. Present, mister. Thank you, sir. Uh, Melissa Esther Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Benitez. Present. Thank you, uh, Senia Judith. Present. And Wilfredo Antonio Luna. Here. Okay, thank you. Alguien que no lo haya llamado o alguien que no me contestó? No, huh? okay. Creo que todos me contestaron. All right. So that is uh, the going to and the uses of going to. Now let's see what the book says. Let's uh, go over the book and see if we can understand it. Are you able to see this? Yes. Not, Not yet. Now see. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the look at the words in bold, bold on las negritas, okay? Look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. It says the affirmative sentences. Remember, we were going over the affirmative sentences, and this is the structure for the affirmative. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th, or I am going to stay until Monday. Oh, Ms. Puentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April the 14th. The negative is the one that we just add the word not to the sentence, and it reads as follows. Miss Puentes is not is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday on the 13th. And then we have the yes and no question. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? And the information question, remember, is when we use the seven words, how, why, when, where, which. So in this case, we're using how long are you going to stay? We're asking for a block of uh, that time. And when are you going to arrive? We're going, we're asking for the time. And over here is explain, is explaining the rules for it. For example, on the left uh, lower corner, it says uh, use be going to plus the verb. The verb is the base form to describe schedule activities and activities that will definitely happen. When it says definitely, it means that uh, we are almost 100% that uh, that action will happen. So if you don't know that uh, something is gonna happen, don't use going to, use will instead. So for negative sentence, insert not before the going to. So for negative sentences, insert not before going to. And then to ask yes and no questions about schedule activities, begin with the verb be plus subject plus going to plus the verb. We already have this uh, um, structure. For information question, just place the word WH word plus the or phrase at the beginning of the question and continue like you would do for yes and no question. All right, so any question about the rules? Okay, let's do uh, an exercise then. This is over here to order the words to create sentences and questions about schedule activities. Schedule activity is something that you have uh, planned to do. Like, uh, well, when I go to, I'm sorry? I'm sorry, do you have any question? Okay, so schedule activities is uh, something that you have planned to do for the future. For example, it says over here, when are you going to arrive to Dallas? Yes. And the uh, scramble words that we have is that uh, to Dallas, you going to when arrive are. So all you have to do is follow the structure for the affirmative question. And if you see any question mark at the end, then you know that it's going to be a question. Uh, but only the first one has a question mark when, yes. And the rest one, you have to figure out if there is a question mark or not. Okay, so let's uh, work on number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. I'm going to give you a few minutes, few minutes so you can work on them, okay?
Do we need uh, more time? I see Senia saying yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. All right. I need a more time. Okay. Okay. Who do you need to participate, teacher? Okay, you you could be the first one, and then um, let's see. I, I have um, so you can do number two, uh, Senia number three, Jorge number four, Cesar number five, and uh, Esmeralda number six. Okay. Okay, and number two, I think it's a question. And I do it as follow. Um, okay. Are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Okay, are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Yeah, sounds great. That's right, mm -hmm. right. All right, okay. thank you. Number three, I confuse. You are confused. Okay. Okay. So let's let's see. If I am. Mm -hmm. Pero quiero intentarlo. I am. I am going to request. Mm -hmm. Voy bien o no? I'm going to request. Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to request. Wake up call for 5 a.m. Okay, yes. Yes, that's, that's true. Ahora díganla así, sin miedo a equivocarse. Okay, sin miedo a equivocarse. La voy a escribir porque no la había escrito. Ah, no la había escrito, o sea que estaba adivinando. 
No, no estaba adivinando, es que me, esa fue, era la que me estaba costando. Oh <ríe> ya tenía goodness. las demás aquí. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I, am, I am going to request wake up call for 5 a.m. Ahí le faltó, un, uh, le faltó el, el, el artículo, Arico. El A. Uh, uh, I'm going to request a, a wake up call. I'm going to request a wake, wake, ah, wake up call. I wake up. No, I know. Ah. A wake up. Four. Wake. I'm going to I'm, request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Yes, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Thank you. Okay. Todavía no la he dejado ir. I'm going to request. Sorry. Yes, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. I, I, I go to request. I wake up call for 5 a.m. Yes. Okay. Ahora tratemos de decirlo fluido. I am going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Dígalo así. I am going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a, a subir la velocidad. I am going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. I am. No. I, I am going to request. I, I am going to request a wake up Call for 5 a.m. Yeah. I am going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Lo, lo que estoy tratando, Senia, es de evitar que se oiga esto. I am going to request a 5 a.m. Eso estoy tratando de, de, de que de la, la fluidez, de poner ahí la fluidez. Entonces, I am going to request, diga. I am going to request. A wake up call. 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 Is it wake up? Yes, es lo que te. A wake up call. O sea, unimos la wake up call. Wake up. A wake up call. Wake, wake up call. Wake up. Yes, call. A wake up call for 5 a.m. Ahora, for 5 a.m. For 5 a.m. No, la 5 es la que no se le escucha bien. Usted dice 5 a.m., ¿sí? 5 a.m. es 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. A.M. Veanme, veanme los labios. 5 A.M. 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 No, eh, esos ojos me gustaron como... Me gustaron como los hizo. <ríe> ya, yeah. ok. Vea, yeah. no nos está costando, estamos bien, ya, yeah. pero lo queremos mejorar. Si yo la dejo ir así, entonces usted va a decir, bueno, está bien así, no, 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 está bien, no. Entonces, quiero que se escuche así, que se oiga despacio, pero fluido. Ok, I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. For 5 a.m. I am going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Yes, está mejor. Yes, está bien, está bien. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay, next, please. Yes, eh, hasta donde entendí teníamos que hacer la afirmativa y la no, pregunta. No, 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 solo ponerla, solo ponerla ahí en orden. Bueno, yo hice las dos. <laughs> Excelente. Perfecto, perfecto. Yes. Uh, 
the sentence is Mr. Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. E the question is, is Mr. Turcios going to check out tomorrow? Yeah, okay. Is Mr. Turcios going to check out tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Miss or Mr. Huh? Miss. Mrs. or Mr. Uh, is it uh, Miss Miss Turcios? Yes, mm -hmm. Miss Turcios. Yes. <coughs> Teacher, but Turcios is name Sorry, or last name? It's his last name. Mm -hmm. But last in, the, in that case, George is correct. Mm -hmm. The answer of George is correct. Is Mr. Turcios? Right? Yes. Uh -huh, sí. uh, aunque yes. you can Miss Turcios. Yes. Pero como <laughs> nosotros hemos aprendido que el, el last name Es el que usamos con el mist o le podríamos decir Mrs. Turcios ahí también. Is Mrs. Turcios going to check out tomorrow? Yeah, Mrs. Porque la señora de Turcios. ¿eh? <coughs> Sorry, teacher, but my co, my partners, my mis compañeros están en lo cierto. Yo dije en señor, no lo That's dije nice. señora. Ajá. Sí, no, sí, sí. Es que yo no tenía los lentes y la S la confundí por R. No, pero está bien, está bien, porque no podemos decir eh, eh, Miss Turcios. No podemos, la, la señorita de Turcios, no. Es la, la señora de Turcios, Mrs. Turcios o Mr. Turcios. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Next, number five, please. Uh, near, uh, the maintenance, the maintenance, no, the maintenance team going to attend the conference on October 10th. Okay, maintenance, maintenance. 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 Yeah, maintenance, yes. The maintenance team going to attend the conference on October 10th. Is, is it an affirmative yeah. or a question? It's affirmative. Okay, may I put a question? Please. Okay, yeah. Uh, Okay, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> is, is the maintenance the maintenance thing going to attend the conference on October 10th? Yes, very good. Is the maintenance team uh, going to Oof. attend the conference on October 10th? Yes, very good. Excellent. Uh, number six, please. Mr. D. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Diaz is going to need a non-smoking room. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, eh, esa fue la question. Mm -hmm. eh, Esmeralda, ¿fue la question esa? No. Okay, me la puede hacer question, please. <laughs> Intentaré. Is, Miss, is Mrs. Diaz going to need going to need a non-smoking room? Okay, is Mrs. Diaz uh, going to need a non-smoking non room? Non-smoking room? Yes, very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Very good. Okay, hoy um, vamos, ya que hicimos esto, practicamos esto, ahora nos toca a nosotros hacer ya nuestros propios uh, with your own oraciones. Y lo que vamos a, a, we're going to think uh, of two business events that you're going to attend. Yes. Dos eventos de negocio que usted va a atender. Por ejemplo, Esmeralda tiene, para esta semana tiene, nos mencionó que va a entrega de notas, creo yo, ¿verdad? Ok, ese es un, una, un evento que va a atender. Entonces, Eh, una oración para ese evento que va a tener y otro evento también. Cada uno de nosotros va a hacer una oración de unos dos eventos que van a tener en esta semana que viene o este mes o este mes que viene o in the near future o en el futuro cercano. ¿ya? Y lo vamos a leer a nuestros compañeros. Ok, think of two business events that you are going to attend. Yeah. And you, uh, this is uh, what you need to do. You need to assign dates for each. So le va a poner la fecha a cada uno, okay? And then we're gonna practice. 
making a hotel reservation for those dates. Yeah. Ok. So, primero es crear los eventos. Y luego vamos a hacer un role play donde vamos a tener dos personas. Uno va a ser el receptionist y esto va a ser el caller que va a estar llamando para hacer reservation en dos, uh, for those days in a hotel. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take a break. Uh, let's have a cup of coffee or, or tamal or pastel, uh, anything that you did want to. And we're coming back at nine, uh, nine uh, twelve. Okay. Entonces, uh, tómense su break y regresamos a las dos, a las nueve y doce. Enjoy your break. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> 